Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ankush. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about Spark file format. Whenever you are working with the Spark technology, there will be a lot of file format maybe you are using depending upon project to project. Even when you are, you are going for a Spark interview, they will ask you like what file format you are using in your projects. So that is what we are going to discuss with this video. Before I start, if you are looking for Hadoop Spark training, which is completely real time, you can reach out to me. I'm going to start my next Spark training within next two days. So it's a good time to start with your career as a Hadoop developer, as a big data engineer or data engineer. OK, so let's discuss about the file format in Spark. There are different different type of file formats are available in the Hadoop technologies like we have a csv file format csv file format we everyone know about it it is like a text file format we the file you can open it you can see the content and this type of file format mainly useful after the processing once we get the output and if you want to see that output into the file let's say i want to open that file into the vi editor so you can open that text file because it's a text file at the end but are we using it? Yes. There are projects where you are getting a file as input in the form of CSV file format. But if you ask me about are you going to store your intermediate result in the CSV file format, then the answer will be no. So there are multiple other file formats are there like we have Parquet file format. Parquet is a default file format for the spark and performance wise also it is better compared to the csv file format so whenever you want to read a file you need to specify like which file format you want to read let's say you want to read parquet file format so you need to tell to the spark that i'm going to read parquet file format how spark dot read dot form spark dot read dot parquet directly method is available which you can use or in the format also you can specify that I'm going to read parquet file format. So what will happen along with this parquet file format you will have a schema which is already appended with that. So you don't need to explicitly mention this schema. Okay. Now third file format which is again really really important we called it as a arrow file format. Now, what is this file format, Avro? You must have heard about the terminology with the Avro file format. We call it as a schema evaluation. Schema evaluation is possible in the Avro file format. And it is a very, very good feature. And because of that only, project will think whether to go with the Avro file format. So the project which looking for the change in their schema, maybe they want to add a new schema, there is a chances that time Avro file format play a really, really important role. What about the performance? Yes, performance is also good. But you know, if I just tell you about the performance uh, related to the each and everything, let's say I want 100% performance, then none of the file format will play 100% performance wise. Some there will be some file format which are good in reading some file format will be good in writing some file format will be having very good compression technique so everyone is not perfect so in this lecture we have discussed about the csv file format avro file format parquet file format apart from this there are multiple other file formats are there like rc orc so that thing we are going to discuss in the next video at this point, you should know how to read this file format and how to write the result into this format also. So you should know read and write corresponding to this CSV file format, Avro file format and Parquet file format. Apart from this, as I said, there are multiple other file formats are there. So we are going to see that very soon. Thank you. Please do like, subscribe and share this channel. And one more thing. I'm going to start my Hadoop Spark training in next two days. So let's get connected and the details are available in the description section. Bye bye.